So without further ado, it's time to welcome to the stage your winning team. So everyone here in Trafalgar Square, everyone at home, everyone around the country, please welcome to the stage your victorious England Lionesses, everyone. Led by Serena Viegman and your captain, Leo Williamson. Take it in. <laughs> when you look around and you see this team, what makes them so special? Ooh. Then we need half an hour. We've got time. <laughs> okay. Well, first of all, um, they're very, very good football players. They're very, very good people. Yes. Um, the willingness, the commitment, the resilience, um, the behavior towards each other, the support has been so incredible. And most of all, the willingness to want to win so badly. And they won. <laughs> Sum up the manager, please. Um, I think this is the missing ingredient that England was looking for, and she's brought us together. Yeah, I mean, special person. She puts us all first as human beings and allows us to be who we are, and you've seen us enjoy this tournament for what it's been and finally win. <laughs> They're the dream team. I think we've, um, we've partied more than we actually played football in the past 24 hours. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, obviously incredible and to be able to share it with everybody that came to the game and around the country, uh, we're very grateful for everyone's support, yeah. What does this mean? What? I don't actually know what we've just done. What have we done, girls? I don't know, I don't know. Um, but yeah, maybe change, change and in, in change of the best kind, yeah. Serena, you've done it before, 2017. You've done it again. Can you quite take that in? Aryan, can you? <laughs> <laughs> he was there too. No, it's so special. It's just uh, incredible. We're just trying to do our best. And then we get this team and over here are people in all the gray shirts who have done a tremendous job too. <laughs> yes, thank you. It worked well. We've been a little lucky too, but I think we have done some things really well too, all together, and that made a difference. And yeah. yesterday, we know you were trying to stay calm and composed in your press conference, and then this lot couldn't help themselves. <laughs> oh, where's Mary? Where's Mary? <laughs> to you the final minute in there that winning goal <laughs> the shirt staying on <laughs> an iconic moment an iconic moment but for you and your journey through the injuries and getting back to be a part of this team and having that moment how special is that for you yeah so special so special to share this moment with such an amazing bunch of girls <laughs> I'm proud to wear this badge, but I'm even more proud to share the pitch with such an unbelievable group of players and an unbelievable yes. set of staff. <laughs> Chloe, as well, we saw uh, that when it, you kicked in, the goal, then there was a delay with the celebration, and you were saying, is it in? Is it allowed? I thought she was giving a free kick, and I was like, is it in? Is it a goal? And <laughs> yeah, that's, that's when it went crazy. <laughs> 
talk to me about some of the celebrations in the in the changing room afterwards. What was going stop on? I ain't dancing, honestly. <laughs> I ain't stopped. My feet just keep going. I'm just, yeah, everyone's just absolutely buzzing. And we had a good night last night, but some a bit worse for wear this morning. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted this one around your neck. You finally got it in an England shirt. How are you feeling? On top of the world, on top of Europe. <laughs> uh, yeah, another trophy, but the best one by far. Uh, but uh, there's still one more that we can still get our hands on next year. That's why she's a winner. That is why she's a winner. You... What makes this team so special, Luce? Jill Scott. Wait, wait. Hey. <laughs> Jill Scott, you are loved and adored. Been around the team, the Lionesses, for a lot of years. Yeah. And this is your moment also. A lot of years, yeah. <laughs> this is your moment. <laughs> this is my perfect moment with you. You're doing great up here, Lucy. You're doing great. No, it's just been absolutely fantastic, I think, just to be part of this team. I know I got asked like in an interview, which, t which players are you looking out for in the tournament? And I'm like, I train with the best players in the world every single day, and it's so tough. <laughs> um, trying to keep up with them, especially when I think some of them are half my age now. So, yeah, just an incredible group, and I'm just so honoured to play any little part in this team. I think everybody who, everyone who's put the shirt on, um, I've said it a few times now, but just everybody that believed in women's football, we just want it to be football, and hopefully that's now how it's perceived to around the world, I suppose. But, yeah, all the former players, they know who they are. This I think for Rachel you. Brown somewhere. Can see <laughs> she's her. there, she's um, there. But, yeah, just everybody that's worked so hard, we feel so honoured that we kind of did that, that last lap, but it's going to be the first of many, hopefully. Player of the tournament. Yeah, <laughs> wow. I, yeah, I didn't expect it. I think um, the guy pulled me to the side and, yeah, I told me then, but... Yeah, I'm just so proud of just being a part of this team. The player of the tournament means nothing to me in the medal and being part of this team means more. Yeah, sometimes football sucks, but um, yeah, I worked hard and yeah, I feel so lucky to be a part of this team and being part, part of this group and yeah, I'm just so happy to be here. <laughs> turn into reality I think that's one of the most inspiring inspiring things we would have been inspired by so much growing up but now hopefully there's a generation of people that will be inspired by us <laughs> 